Welcome to our tutorial on the intersection command. I have two surfaces here, a few lines, and a solid. Before activating the intersection command, let's see what's defined as an in work object. We see now that the solid is defined as an in work object. I'm going to right click on this geometrical set and select Define in work object. This is so that we can store the feature that we'll create under this geometrical set. Next, let's activate the intersection tool. Because the geometrical set was selected, we now have nine elements selected here. Let's right click and select Clear Selection. Let's select this surface for our first element. For our second element, let's select this surface. Click Preview. As you see, we have our intersection curve. Click OK. Now right click and let's hide this intersect. Let's activate the intersection command again. Next, select this surface first and this surface second. Click Preview. The reason I'm doing this is to show you how the Extrapolate Intersection on the First Element option works. Preview. Basically, this surface needs to be selected as the first element for this option to work. If I reverse the selection, and click Preview, let's cancel out for now. Let's reactivate the intersection command. We'll select this as our first element, and this as our second. Check the Extrapolate Intersection on First Element box, and click Preview. Just watch for this. Let's cancel out for now. Let's activate the intersection command again. Now let's select this surface, and this solid. Under the Surface Part Intersection Result area, I'll select Contour, and click Preview. You see this white line. If I choose Surface instead and click Preview, we don't see the surface now because it's inside the solid. Click OK. Let's right click on Pad 1 and Hide Show. We'll right click on this surface, Hide Show. And now we see the surface we created. Let's bring back Extrude 1, right click and Hide Show. And I'm going to activate the intersection command again. I've got two lines lying on the same plane. They intersect at this point. Click Preview. Surely enough, we have an intersection point right here. Let's click OK. Activate the intersection command again. Select this line and this line. Click Preview. An error message appears. There's no solution for this operation. What I need to do is check this option, Intersect Non-Coplanar Line Segments. With our preview now, we see that an intersection point has been created between these two lines. Next, under our first element, let's select this surface. Let's actually cancel out and reactivate the intersection command. Select this line and this surface. Preview. I get an error message. Let's close it. I should have checked this option under the first element, Extend Linear Supports for Intersection. Now let's preview. And we have an intersection point on this surface. Let's click OK. This concludes our tutorial on the intersection command.